Hey, what's going on YouTube? So you know it's best here. This is really going to be my last CES video I'm going to be doing here. And this video I'm going to be showing you because at the event itself, I was actually able to attend the Microsoft and Verizon keynotes where they announced some of their latest products and latest things there first. And uh, so with this Microsoft one, you're going to see some new things with the Connect and Xbox on the Verizon side. You're going to get a really nice live demo by somebody from Google themselves of the Android Honeycomb platform. Now the video is going to actually be a demo of the software live. So anyway, going to kick back, relax, and enjoy. Please welcome Chief Executive Officer, Microsoft Corporation, Steve Ballmer. Good evening and welcome. Also announcing that we are bringing the controller-free Hulu Plus subscription service to Xbox Live in the U.S. later this spring. So you can instantly watch the full current and back catalog seasons, popular TV shows, and HD. Also announcing that we are bringing the controller-free Hulu Plus subscription service to Xbox Live in the U.S. later this spring. So you can instantly watch the full current and back catalog seasons, popular TV shows, and HD like Glee, 30 Rock, and Modern Family anytime with the magic of Connect. Controller-free Zoom. Controller free Netflix, controller free Hulu Plus. All part of our vision to bring partner content plus the magic of Connect straight into your living room. So, everyone who's enjoying Connect knows that today it listens to your voice and tracks your body. But what about your facial expressions? As you can see, now Connect can track features like your smile, your laugh, and even the raise of your eyebrows. Ladies and gentlemen, Chairman and CEO for Verizon, Ivan Seidenberg. You know, earlier when you came into the room, they told you to shut off your cell phones and be careful with your RF devices. So when Verizon's up here, turn them on. <laughs> Ping all you want. <laughs> all this will come together. We're thrilled to have with us Mike Claren uh, from Google as the principal engineer and architect of the Android platform. Mike, welcome. Hi, right, thank you. Thank you for being here. Okay, let's take a look at Honeycomb in action. The first thing you'll notice is that there are no buttons on the front. All of the navigation controls are at the bottom of the screen, and they're virtual. They're drawn with pixels rather than paint. For Honeycomb, though, we made, we've made the widgets a lot more powerful. Let's take a look at the widgets that I have. Here I have my Gmail inbox. This is a great way of just at a glance seeing if there's anything important I need to deal with. Here's my calendar, and it's telling me I need to be here. Uh, and here are the bookmarks from the browser. On this screen, I have some shortcuts to contacts. I can use these to keep track of their status, and also quickly to uh, email or IM my contacts. Here I have a YouTube widget showing me what's popular on YouTube. And then back over here, I have a couple of family photographs. Now, because mobile devices are very personal, people have always loved customizing their Android phones. And we've put a lot of work into making that easier than ever on tablets. So for example, if I want to add a new widget to this screen, I just tap the plus up here. Now here I can see all of my customers widgets, shortcuts, wallpapers. We also have previews of the widgets, so you know right away what you're going to get. So if I want to add a clock to that screen, I just tap it, and it flies into place. If I want to move it, I can just pick it up and drag it where I want. Let me add another widget. In this case, I'm going to add a books widget. Drop that there. But I want to show you some other apps as well. Let me start with the browser. I'm going to use my bookmark widget to open the New York Times. The New York Times is opening. Now, if you look here, you'll see something very familiar. All of my pages are in tabs at the top of the screen, the way nature intended. You can see I had previously opened Gizmodo here. 
And I have New York Times in this tab. And I can create new tabs, switch between tabs, close tabs. It's really like a desktop experience. There's now always a button on the system bar down here that brings up a list of the last few apps I was in. Let me bring that up. This list has thumbnails showing the app state, so it's really easy to see what you want. And if you look closely down here, you can see a miniature version of the Bellagio that I was just looking at. If I want to jump back to the email you saw earlier, I can do that just by tapping back an email. And if I open this again, you can see what I was doing before the demo. I was playing games and watching videos. Um, but let me show you Dungeon Defenders. So I jump back in right where I was before. In this case, I'm about to get mauled by a bunch of goblins. Uh, this game, I can tell you from extensive personal research, is really great on this hardware. Uh, it's been optimized specifically for the tablet, and you can see that it has a really nice frame rate. Zoom in, zoom out, defend myself a little.